Welcome. Welcome everyone to the live stream. James with Team Finish Strong here. Getting ready to do my last race before an in real life event. Today we're keeping it relatively short. Uh, four laps of the volcano circuit counterclockwise. So it's about 13 miles um, of riding tonight. And um, so I think that's going to be, I think, just what I need as far as the intensity and the volume uh, to be ready for my in real life event. So um, basically have some local races coming up and um, just trying to make sure I am properly prepared for that. And uh, so uh, once again, like I said on the last stream, the results tonight are less important than the, uh, the training, but uh, I am going to give it my best and I am looking to uh, try to push things tonight. Um, so some of you may know the uh, Volcano Circuit is not a true flat course. That's why I said in the description it's kind of flat-ish. It's got some kicks and, uh, and it's got one right where, right where it counts at the at near finish. Uh, it's an uphill uh, grind to the finish. Uh, three, I think it's uh, two or three little one big kick followed by a couple of small kicks. And uh, so it's probably going to be a drag race, I'm predicting tonight, uh, to the finish line. So we'll see. Um, I don't think people are going to hold their cards to the end. I think we're going to see some of the stronger riders try to head out early. And I most certainly will try to go with them. So that's my plan for tonight. That's my strategy. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a good start midweek, good hump day today, and uh, feel, free to ch feel free to chime in, let us know where you're from in the chat, uh, what you're up to tonight. Anybody else out there got some uh, some events you're preparing for? Um, you know, interestingly, uh, tonight as I was warming up, 
uh, ran across an old uh, friend and fellow uh, teammate of Finish Strong, former teammate, uh, who is a three-time uh, national Paralympic champion and uh, had a chance to see him out there in Zwick. It was good to see him. So Lance, give you a shout out tonight. And uh, hope, hope you'll be riding with you, buddy, sometime uh, this year. Uh, really enjoyed those rides that we had. Um, so as, uh, again, far as tonight is concerned, we actually had a very small group on Zwift Power. And you know how it is in Zwift, it, the group size is always larger on Zwift than it is uh, in Zwift Power. But yet, it says we got 4C signed up, but we got plenty of folks sitting there at the start line. And I'm thinking, what? What does that mean? There's definitely more than four people there. I know I can count at least before. All right. So we got. So that's interesting. The um, I don't know if it's the counter that's wrong. It says we got 27 signed up here for this race. The counter says we got five, five here. So I guess we're doing another one of those mass start events where. All the groups are mixed together. In some ways, I don't like those. They are always harder than if you just let us seize alone, let us do our thing. But, um, and who knows Who knows what we've got in here. We've got a, a whole bunch of people who are probably aren't on Zwift Power that have signed up for the seas. You know, in some ways, it's almost impossible to do really adequate research before an event. <laughs> because of the uh, the variables that you have. You know, you have uh, people that are, are um, going down in categories, some people going up in categories, and then you got the people who aren't on Zwift Power and the outliers who have no presence whatsoever. You just, they're the, uh, they're the ghost that you uh, don't know is gonna creep up behind you and steal, steal your podium at the end. But, uh, so my goal here, it's going to be a little bit harder. I hope Emiano, hope you're out there, Emiano. You did, you really were a big help in the last race, helping me to uh, not chase that lead group so much. Because um, what happens with, with these big start races is there's going to be A's and B's and C's and D's all fighting together for position off the start. And and, and typical uh, strategy is for you to try to hang as long as possible with the group ahead of you. Now what's interesting is the B's are gonna to try to hang with the A's. So if the C's try to hang with the B's, in reality, they're actually trying to hang with the A's in a mass start race like this. So it, uh, it complicates things further. And um, in my last race, it turned out it was better to uh, let the group go. Um, and it worked out in my favor. I had, uh, I had, uh, I think just one or two riders, or just one rider, I think, in the C group left when I uh, when I got spat out the back, and they ended up finishing behind me. So I think they burned a few two matches trying to, to hang with the group. So it is a very complicated uh, thing to try to come up with a strategy for some of these whip races. I really like. Um, some of these uh, race organizers, like World of Fusion, they separate out the groups, and you just you just fight it out within your group. So the strategy is a little more straightforward, I think, in those situations. And here from you, what what do you think should be the strategy tonight? Anybody got any thoughts on uh, how to do a, a relatively short, flattish race in a missed event like this? Love to hear your uh, your insights. And I've got three minutes approximately left of voice before I have to go silent here. So, um, so I'd love to be able to chat with you guys, uh, see what your thoughts are on what we are about to face tonight. So I got to a position at the start line, which I'm glad for, because when I checked Swift Power about maybe 45 minutes ago, there's only six people in my cat. On Zwift Power, so I'm thinking it's a small group I'm going to race with. It's not really too terribly important to get the start line first, but 
now that I see how things are shaping up, I'm kind of glad I did. It almost, in situations like this, it would almost be worthwhile to keep Swift Power their live, um, their live thing open while you're racing to see who you're really competing against out there. So, but uh, don't think I'm going to have time for that. Just going to have to kind of wing it. But uh, so this is my last live stream for at least this week. And uh, possibly um, until this series is over that I'm doing locally. They've got races this weekend, races next weekend. So um, I may do both weekends. Oh, here we go. I don't even have the volume. Sorry, guys. Wish I could, oh, I can turn the volume down. Hold on. I'm sorry. Y'all, how many how many minutes did you guys have uh, of silence there? My apologies. I didn't realize that I had uh, messed up the screen. I hope it wasn't long. I didn't notice until I actually went to uh, adjust the volume here. My apologies. So, and I cannot change the volume on this thing. Swift really wants to keep it hammered. Can we make for that? All right. Okay. So we're stuck with the volume. So my apologies, folks, uh, for the stream interruption. You know, it's a one, it's a one man show. Things happen. So uh, anyhow, uh, so race strategy is going to be, I think, complicated by the mixed group tonight. And uh, and I'd uh, love to hear you all um, in the chat during the race if you have any thoughts, ideas, or um, strategy. And at this point, it's too late for me to check Swift Power, so I guess we're we're going to go out as is. It's going to be super hard, I believe. I think the A's, the A's are going to try to crush it, the B's are going to try to follow, and the C's, who are foolish, will try to hang. And I am going to probably end up being one of them. Here we go. Hard starts always.
Okay, this is where it's going to break up. All right, I think here's where the race is.
still recovering. Almost there. A lot of over category work I had to put in there. Thank you. Time to rest. Thank <laughs> you. 
Definitely a harder race tonight. Right at threshold. I don't know if that's bad luck or by design. Love for that heart rate to come down. Hey, Sonia. Thanks for joining. <laughs> I 
There we go. Finally it came down. Just had to speak to it. Got some sort of attack going on behind us. A bee rider trying to shed the seas that have been tagging along. And it looks like he did it. Looks like our bees are trying to do the same thing here. A little attack we're putting in, but they're putting in. Come on, buddy, don't give up. Oh, that's not them. Whoops. I mistook those riders for them. Looks like first place is gone. Whoops. My bad. Oh, those are C's. All right. Just got exciting.
It's going to be painful. Tough. A lot of folks swarming there at the end. I was maxed out. No more heartbeats available for a sprint. the finish line alive. I'm thankful for that. That was tougher than I thought it would be. These C raises, I'm starting to feel a lot like B raises. I'm going to have to do some re post-race reflection here on why that is. Is it fitness or is it just the peculiarities of a category where max FTP is 3.2, but race averages has no bearing on that. I don't know. We'll see. At least my FTP went up, according to my Garmin. Thank you, Arrow. I hope that wasn't there during the race. 
If it was, shame on me. All right. Well, I've got some cool down to do, folks. Appreciate those of you who watched. We will uh, we'll see things how things go on the next go around. Until the next go around, folks, have a wonderful night. Wherever you're at, hope you finish strong. Take care. And as always, God bless. See ya.